we're gearing up, we're going out pipe. Riding a 6.4 today. Um, all my poly boards broke and I'm back on the epoxy. Still need to do a video on that. Do I still love epoxy theories? Yes, I do. But fortunately, things have changed. Um, to give you a quick overview of it, and I'll go into details after. Still love ep epoxy, and I think in the 6.2 to 6.0 range, and for certain uh, times on your shortboard, it is insane. It is better, percentage is better. Um, but if we're going off the data, the science, if you will, um, using it on my pipe boards, um, it just it felt so good on the face when I was maneuvering in the barrel. And at times I traveled further along the foam ball because it was floating over. Some waves I made and I wouldn't have on a normal board. But that being said, my consistency was way off. I had lost a ton of consistency in waves made. So I fell on more waves um, per session than I did on a normal poly board. I spoke to John about it. And he said, he basically said, the poly board, you're gonna get consistency. It's gonna be there the same every time. Your body has the reflexes um, and, and learns to have the control and the board is the same. But the epoxy acts so different in such a range of uh, conditions that your body has trouble adapting to it kind of, I added that, my own, my thought, own thoughts, but he said he had just realized that the board is more erratic, causing more things, um, differences in different conditions, causing more wipeouts, more unexpected, more or less, um, things you can't control in the different conditions. Um, my thought was you have more control with a lighter board and you do in certain parts of the wave, but overall, you didn't really have that. Is there a fine line is there an in-between the two that's gonna work? We're gonna find that out. We're gonna start mixing different variations, but um, that's kind of the overview. Epoxy Theories is good for very clean conditions in a range of different sizes um, on the smaller end. I love my 6.2. I felt great. Uh, my epoxies felt great at Sunset and Hollywood for turns. It felt better for me on turns. But at Pipe, I just have to follow the data. I've been getting better waves on my polyboard making more waves and having easier time pumping where and when I want to because I know the board is going to hold where the epoxies I had a lot of drops where I should have made them but it bucked and flexed weird and was overly dramatic um, and I got flung off so we're still testing we're still fine-tuning that is why we try new things in surfing a lot of people get so stuck on the same thing uh, in order to progress the sport, progress the craft for riding, you have to try new things. And so we did, and it wasn't a complete failure. It's always a win when you gain information, new information, you learn something, you learn more. So that we did. Um, that's kind of the basis of it. Today, though, we're going back out on the old epoxy because I broke all my poly boards, but the boards do work great just on certain things. Um, you just have to be a little more on if there's a bump in the face or certain things like that. Either way, riding my signature big wave FCS fins, my big, not my big wave leash, but FCS, the, the Helix leash. Um, that's that, got a little flotation suit on. See you guys in the water. Oh, almost forgot. Always use protection. And by that I mean sunscreen, protection from the sun. What did you think I meant? You damn dinguses. Oh, they have weights here. I'm looking for a darker one. So, do you have any of the dark versions of Protect? I do. Can I use it? I just told them, always use protection. So I gotta back that up. Need for Where's my bag? Where's my bag? See you guys in a while. We're gonna sunscreen up. We're gonna use some Protect. And we're gonna get out there. Oh, it is surge!
my thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Ron. I try, but people, people were bailing. I had to get out of Dodge. Cheers. That's all, folks. Well, another board added to the graveyard, guys. That session was psycho. Mainly life out. Uh, leash pulled through. Uh, board finally broke. This guy lasted a long time. RIP, moment of science. Mainly though, I don't know if I told you guys this in another episode or maybe it was the last one. These freaking Helix leashes just took some massive cleanup sets. So strong. Like I said, I've broken about maybe close to 10 boards this season. Kept thinking this was the session to, the Helix was going to break. Did not break. These freaking leashes are so strong. Love it. Do this nice and easy. Uh. Yeah, Add it to the sad graveyard. Probably get these boards, do some neighborhood groms. Maybe they can figure out how to get fixed. Keep the leash for another session. The leash lives on and the fins. Bingo, bingo, bingo. that session I know I said that <laughs> my freaking the ratio of makes to, to falls was worse on the epoxy but that was literally not what I was talking about like that was just one of those sessions like I <laughs> paddled out first thing it was mainly because pipe was huge and I was on too small of a board uh, that board was a 6.4 I should have been on a 6.6 six, probably even a 6.8 there's so much water moving First wave, I had to jump top to bottom, straight out the back, board came out the back, everything all good. Okay, cool, warm up, that's fine. Shrug it off, paddle back out. This psycho comes in, literally psycho serial killer wave. I have to go paddling. Last second, I'm thinking wave of my life, like that's how gnarly this pipe wave looked. It was so big, it skipped second reef, didn't break, so I just knew full energy was gonna hit first reef. Everyone on the outer ledge missed it. And I turned, I was scratching, scratching, scratching. And I got to my feet and I just realized, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't want to jump. I was too in the lip, so I just shoved my tail. Did a huge airdrop. I think the biggest airdrop I've done at pipe. And my board fluttered. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna make it. Just stomp the airdrop and look to see like for one second I was like I think I can grab my rail hook it and pull in still look and it was just cornering like chokes at me and I was like no I'm not gonna do it I'm way too scared so I turned back straightened out just did like a pump as I straightened out the whip landed behind me made it through that and then it was like my body was just like okay we did our work freaking skipped out fell survived main thing survival um, I don't know, my lens is... And then, um, paddled back out. Reef goes, go on the psycho right, it looked insane. I went, and it was insane, all the way to the last section. I made it over this crazy FOMO. Last section took me out, and I got stuck in the toilet bowl in between pipe, back door, and off the wall. There's this section where the current tries to rip out. But if the sets are coming, hammer anvil situation, I just got absolutely pummeled. Like, I was like, I don't know, I'm so used to being in those situations that I'm, I never really get worried or freaked out anymore because I just am like, hey, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. You can control how you're acting right now um, as far as the beat down, just be cool. But I literally started to have trouble keeping it cool because it was 10 footers landing on me and I couldn't go in and I couldn't go out. And I was like, if one of these slams me on the bottom, it's gonna be bad. Uh, so this is a tough place to be in. And then finally, I was able after like the fourth wave to launch myself into the white water. Cause like each time I was trying to launch myself into the white water to get out of that impact zone. Um, 
So if you guys are ever stuck in a spot, use the wave, the white water, to help push you out of that. Otherwise, you're gonna stay there forever. Um, and so I finally got out of there and I was just like, well, that was not right. Like, there was so much foam, I couldn't get a clean breath. And the GoPro, the mount was like, the way I was trying to, I started breathing heavy. And so it was just kind of blocking air, airway, but made it out of there, went back out. And of course, after you pay for it a few times, that's when I ended up getting the sickest little wedging insider, uh, which I made. And uh, that kind of just made my session. Like I always say, it always just takes one. Um, so I made that and caught a few waves and ended up getting so lit. Uh, trying to doggy door one and I flew in the air from the lip. Um, and that kind of ended my session. I was gonna try and get one more. I was looking just to ride a small one and oh, finally someone just got a right. I was starting to look for a right in the end there. I just couldn't go in. Um, and giant cleanup set comes. Just the cleanup set before that, Koa got smoked, broke his leash. He had to go in. Clean up set comes. I had a bail, a bunch of people bail in front of me. Board broken, done, so. Pipeline decides, time for you to go in and eat some lunch, Kubike grill, three entrees. Get some protect, recovery, in me. Recharge, reevaluate, honor, determination, integrity, taking a shower, 